breaking news is developing at this hour. Miami billionaire Philip Frost is facing serious charges. And you may recognize the name. It's on the Frost Science Museum and other local landmarks. Local 10 News reporter Roy Ramos is live for us right outside the museum with the breaking details on this. Roy. Yeah, his name is right on the front of the Museum of Science here in downtown Miami. We're also told that his family donated millions of dollars to get this facility up and running. But we are now hearing he has been charged with securities fraud. Let's go ahead and show you a picture of who we're talking about. South Florida businessman Philip Frost was among a large group charged Friday with fraudulent stock sales by the Securities and Exchange Commission. Investigators said from 2013 to 2018, Frost and nine other associates manipulated the share price of the stock of three companies generating over $27 million. Now, Frost does own a home here in South Florida. I want to go and take you to pictures uh, of his elaborate estate there in Miami Beach. If you recognize the name, that is because the names of he and his wife Patricia are on the Museum of Science in downtown Miami. The Frost family donated $35 million to the construction of the museum with an additional $10 million for the construction of the planetarium. Now, according to the SEC, Frost is accused of taking part in two of three schemes led by Florida investor Barry Honig. The group allegedly acquired large amounts of stock at deep discounts, then illegally manipulated trading to boost the price. Once the market price was inflated, the SEC said the group dumped their shares into the inflated market. Now, we have reached out to the Frost Museum for comment. They released a statement that reads in part, the museum has no information to share and no further comment at this time. Museum operations are continuing as normal. Now, we've also reached out to Florida International University where we are told the Frost family has also contributed to the art museum there. We are still waiting to hear back from them. As soon as we gather more information on this, we will be sure to bring it right back to you. For now, here in downtown Miami, Roy Ramos, Local 10 News.